I cannot tell you how gorgeous it is out here. It is so beautiful out today. Loving this summer-like weather. It's totally awesome. But anyway, I gotta go in the seed room and get my seed started. I'm actually doing it, guys. I'm doing it right now. I'm not letting anything stop me. I don't care. Nothing will stop me now. <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys what we're planting too. It's gonna be awesome. These chickens have never been so happy. I swear, they are like thrilled about eating all our vegetables. <laughs> Look at this. I had Ryan keep this bed open because of all the Russian kale that hasn't gone to seed. So everything else was going to seed. So we picked a little bit of it, but let the animals have most of it and they are enjoying it. Y'all, that's before, that's after. That's one day of them loving life. Look at that, they're so happy. That is not even a full day. This was moved yesterday afternoon. All right, so we are finally gonna get this done, guys. Gonna try out this mini soil blocker and see how it does for us. The directions say to just press it in hard two or three times to make sure that you have soil in there and then scrape it on the edge. That looks about right. I've got a couple of spots that look like they're not all the way filled. So I'm just gonna make sure that's even. And then you press it down into your container and you press on this while you pull up on the bar and bam, you're done, supposedly. So, yep, yeah, we did it guys. That wasn't too hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my tray with the soil blocks, making sure each one is filled. I don't see. I just knocked out a branch and it opened up an entire one. So it's kind of something you have to look at. And that's the reason why I use the seed starter and not my own mix because starting seeds, you have to have very fine soil. Even if you're not using a soil blocker, the soil should be very fine when you first start seeds. You can work your way up to coarser soil after that, but you really want to start them with some fine stuff. So I just press, 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 make sure that the soil's in there. Scrape off the excess, check it again, make sure. Not too much work. Um, not any different than what I'm filling. Whoops. One of them, come in, look. One of them popped out, so I'm just going to pop it back into place so just be cautious of that I guess if you're using this and it's you know the same size or similar size as what I was using but this thing is 10 years old and it is just falling apart so it was time for something new and I was eager to try this out while Ryan is filling up that tray with the soil blocker I'm gonna go through some of these tomato seeds that I have picked out and start writing them down in my notebook. I'm gonna go for a good variety of tomatoes as usual. Um, I like to have a lot of big slicers and multiple colored tomatoes. That's my favorite kind to do. And hopefully we have plenty of seeds for that. <laughs> For those of you who have been watching my channel, you know the wink. For those of you who have not, go check out my seed addiction video. All right, let me show you guys. So I'm going through and I'm taking out these ones that have less seeds in them because I want to make sure I give them a good chance to get started. And then not worry so much about the ones that I have a ton of seeds on. Those are ones that I've grown before, so I, that's why I have so many, is I've 
saved them from year to year. And then these are all ones that I got in trades. Seed trading is a lot of fun. If you have a community that you can trade with, um, especially for tomato seeds, you can end up with a huge variety. And the nice thing is, is once you've got, once you've had that variety grow in your garden, you can save the seed and end up with it as well. And you can then share it with your friends down the road. Keeping good records is pretty important because I want to know what I'm planting so that I can save the seed. I wouldn't necessarily have to do this if I wasn't saving seed. So I'm going to put the name of the tomato and how many I'm planting. So this is Paul Robeson. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seeds. And I put them in the order that I plant them so that when I go and look at the tray, I'll know which ones were planted. So another thing that I do is I make a label for each one and I put that in the seed tray. So I just got these labels off of Amazon. They're, you know, one season, maybe more. You never know. And then you just drop one tomato seed in each square. Pretty simple. See, I dropped two in that one, so I'm going to go back and grab that and move it to the next block. And I'll be able to tell because I've got my label who's who and I'll just go probably in blocks of five and ten as I work my way up the row I'll go up the row this way and then I'll come down the row this way and up the row that way we are moving right along guys we are moving right along getting these seeds planted we're almost to 300 seeds planted finally for those of you that were interested in what varieties i literally cannot name them all so i'm just gonna go down the list here so you know and i am at the end of the sheet so i'm gonna be flipping it over now chicks just got some fresh bedding and they are loving it they're so happy. There's some eight, Isn't that sweet? I think it's a marble. Uh, I think that's an acorn, Rowan. Uh, Liam, where are your shoes? You uh, can't come out here without shoes. Your brother just brought you out here without shoes. Dalton was watching the kids and he just brought them out here while I was doing this. So now I gotta run them back up to the house so he can at least get shoes on. I just wanted to show you how cute they are. How big they're getting. They're so beautiful. Hi. Are you coming to see me? Hello. <laughs> That's the all black chick right there. Pretty, huh? <laughs> what is that? What is that gesture? Alright guys. That's as far as we got today. 300 is better than zero. We'll get another 300 done tomorrow, hopefully. Ryan is filling up my Mr. Lawn and Garden Sprayer. And I'm going to mist these down. And then I'm going to very carefully put a little bit of soil over each seed. Without putting too much. It'll just be a little bit. And then I'll mist again on top of that soil just to make sure that that soil is moist too. The seeds should remain very moist while they're germinating. And then when I'm done with that, I move it up to here. And I put it on this seed mat. This will heat up and, and help the seeds germinate. Tomato seeds do require heat during germination. I won't need to put on the lamps yet because they're not germinated. Once the seedlings come up above, out of the soil, I will turn on the lamps and put them one inch away from the tray. Well, I think that's it for today, folks. I've had enough work load done and... The boys are getting impatient and it's time to start making dinner. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will have more seeds being started really soon. So come back and watch and see what else we're going to grow this year. Thank you for watching Wholesome Roots. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Please like and share and comment down below if you have any questions. Especially if you have any topics that you would like to see us do a video on. We're starting to make a list of things that you guys have suggested or asked about so that we can start producing videos that are more geared towards what you guys are looking for. Thank you for watching Wholesome Roots.